This is Brick Squadron, and I'm back, everybody. I've got the 332nd Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack to review for you guys today. Also known as the 332nd Legion. These are the clone troopers that you see in Season 7 of the Clone Wars during the Siege of Mandalore. And this is their battle pack that LEGO has come out with, and I think it's really good, um, except for the box art. When it Before it came out, everybody was like, why do the helmets look like this? It was a whole big thing, but now it's fixed. Apparently their art was a bit off, um, and it was just really a, a really crazy thing. So starting off, you see a bit of Mandalore there in the background, which is pretty cool that they added in. Um, it's got 108 pieces, and this is going to be $20. And then there's the back of the box, and you've got your little open tab thing there. Um, not much, just like, you know, like all normal battle pack builds, you have your one small build and your minifigures. So I'm going to get into the Swamp Speeder first, and that is what the main build for the battle pack is, a Swamp Speeder. We've not seen a Swamp Speeder in a very long time, and I'm think it's pretty funny that it's in 501st colors, um, but you know, this is 332nd, so they've got a bit of orange in there too. So I think they could have added like a little orange strip or something there, but overall it looks pretty good. Um, you could even use this for your 501st clone troopers as well. It does have stud shooters on the front though, so yeah, there is that to it. But other than that, I really like how this looks. It's raised a bit off the ground by those black pieces there, so it sort of looks like it's floating, like Swamp Speeders do hover a bit. And then you've got your engine in the back, um, clips for weapons, and these flaps actually fold up and forward in the back, and it can hold too many figures. And if you want to, you can put a Jet Trooper on top of that stud right there, so you can sort of be standing on top of the Swamp Speeder as it zooms along. Um, and then you have your other pretty piddly stud shooter. Yeah, I think LEGO meant this to be like a cannon of some sorts, but it really looks like they just took a bit of extra pieces and put it together and said it was like a cannon. So yeah, um, that bit aside, Swamp Speeder is great by the way. We've got four minifigures, two of which are jet troopers, which have the blue jetpacks that you'll see in a second. And the first one that I'm going to start with is Captain Vaughn, or Vangan, or however you say his name. It's a bit confusing for me. Um, but he is pretty much like second in command of the 501st. Sorry, not the 501st, the 332nd. Yeah, Ahsoka's Legion. Um, the first in command was Captain Rex, and he's got like this little orange visor. Um, the battle pack did come with the packet of orange colored um, sun visors and rangefinders. Uh, I just don't have all of them on these clone troopers. So he's got the helmet, but it does have the helmet holes, of course, for the visor. It doesn't look any different than the normal um, 2020 helmet, which you saw in the um, droid tank that we got earlier. And the head is just the normal clone trooper head. You can see right there. I think they could have done something along the lines of Commander Cody and give him sort of a unique face, but eh, it's fine. Um, and then he's in no way different other than he's got a printed jetpack, just like Commander Cody on his back there. And he's got also like a little rank um, plaque right there on his chest armor, which I think was pretty cool that they decided to add that in there, which he also does have in the Clone Wars. So that's Captain Van. Um, Vaughn, however you say his name, sorry guy. Um, and then you've got two of these jet troopers, jump troopers, I don't know, jetpack troopers, however you want to say them. And you can take the jetpacks off and they'd just be normal clone troopers. But yeah, they've just got the normal head, um, and they come with the normal blasters, so I think they're pretty good. Um, some of just normal clone troopers to add to your army. And then this guy is also a normal one. He does not come with a jetpack, but you can add like the range finder and give him the long blaster and he can be sort of like a sniper for these guys. So overall, my opinion of the 332nd battle pack is, it is definitely one of those that you should get if you're thinking about getting a battle pack. 
And you don't have to get just one. I know Captain Van is something where if you get two, you can always sort of find him in your collection and be like, why do I have two? But it's really simple. You just can take the visor off and he looks pretty much like any other clone trooper other than that little rank plaque right there on his armor. Um, the build is relatively good. I like that they had seats in there for the clone troopers, but you, that means you can't put the jet troopers in there with their um, backpacks on. And yeah, I will give this a 5 out of 5. Um, normal, reasonable price for a battle pack. And almost the same amounts of pieces as the other ones. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot and it's free. I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!